Hey what's up everyone and welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. My name is TJ Style and in today's video I'm going to show you how can you use the iris blur effect that was added to Adobe Photoshop CS6. And once again this is a, a tutorial limited to Photoshop CS6 users. So just in case if you have CS5 or 5.5 this effect or this tutorial is not really meant for you guys. So I'm, I'm sorry but yes only for CS6 users okay. Alright so uh, so the way this uh, blur works is and actually it's very very simple now I, I just like to create a, a duplicate of the image that I'm working with so control J then you go to filter and we just go to blur and I discussed uh, the field blur in my previous tutorial and I'm going to talk about the iris blur and this also works you know very similar to uh, to, uh, uh, to, the, to the field blur but the difference is you just you know if, if you want to move the blur you can just click on the center point and you can just move it properly okay like you can move it to anywhere you want then uh, and these end points that are going to be these four points over here you can just click on any one of them and you can, you can rotate your uh, circle or you know this orbit kind of thing and you can increase the size you can increase it horizontally or you can increase it vertically or you know anywhere you want to then uh, and the actual uh, effect starts from the center point you know even though you may not see any kind of blur happening in the center but you know these four points actually which are inside this orbit they serve as a transition meter from the inside of the you know of the you know of the orbit so they serve as a transition meter from the center point to the outside so you can see if i bring these four points closer to each other the blur also kind of you know gets a little inside the orbit now if you want uh, the total inside of the orbit to be uh, you know um, blur free and absolutely clear you can just click on any one of those and you can just you know drag them at the very end and you can see the difference now if you want to move a point individually just hold on the alt key and then click and then you can see that, you know it moves individually and uh, and it does not uh, affect all the three other points that are there so uh, yeah th th this is mainly how the full effect works and it's a very good uh, you know uh, blur effect I think because uh, you know because you can do a lot of things with this and yeah uh, you can have multiple iris blur in uh, you know in one single composition or in one single image uh, if you want to create another point you can just you know go outside the first point and you can see the you know your mouse pointer change to this pin kind of an icon you know which has this plus small icon you know uh, beside it and if you click anywhere else you'll see uh, that you created yet another point so you know if you want to create some very different kind of effects you can just you know work with them and if you want to delete any one of them you can just select you know by clicking on it you can just select it and hit the delete key and it will go away okay uh, on the right hand side once again you have the blur tool you can increase the intensity of the blur but I think that the defaults are actually pretty good but you know once again if you are working on a project in which you really need to you know pressure up the blur then you can you know go over here and increase the blur to accept the changes click ok and you'll see you know give photoshop a little bit of time and you'll see you can you know you have uh, made a good effect just like that now of course this effect looks absolutely terrible but you know you, you get the idea once again we'll just take a look at the full effect on another image you're gonna press ctrl 1 to zoom it at 100% and actually these are very very high res uh, images I'm kind of compressing actually down sampling them just gonna you know ctrl J it I'm going to filter blur and iris blur and once again we want this horse to be at the center of the uh, the center of attention so we'll just take it over here and actually both the horses say see somewhere like this and once again these are not any uh, you know actual projects of mine you know just some random stock images that I've taken I'm just you know trying to show you how the effect works and I think this is actually pretty good you just click OK now and give Photoshop a little bit of time once again it will be there you can just take the text tool and you can just you know write down something maybe what's power you know just trying to create some text Position, position the text properly maybe add a question mark 
and you know you have created just like that a very good text effect uh, you know a full photo edit now these kind of, these kind of text are uh, these kind of blur effects are really used uh, to get something in focus you know so to so say you have a lot of things going on in the background and you know you want your audience to view at a particular thing in our image so you can use these kind of blur effects you know to keep your background still visible as you can see i can still see the body i can still see the tail i can see all the dust coming but you know whenever i get to see this image say if it was hanging on a wall you know my first attention would be the two horses and you know how they are running especially the eye and then i would just you know my my second attention would be the text or you know how you know what does the text say it says horsepower or you know you know something like that so so these kind of tech uh, blur effects are really used in those kind of situations you now so thank you for watching my video i'll see you all in my next video hope you understood how to use the iris blur effect in photoshop cs6 please like my video on youtube and uh, i'll see you all in my next video please subscribe to this channel and thank you